Hi everyone, welcome to my video. It's been two years since I started my video channel and for those who are new to uh, me and my channel, uh, my videos that I make are primarily about photography and that is wildlife photography and my other love, stock photography. And I started this channel two years ago and after 12 months I managed to get the channel monetized. Nine months after I monetized my channel I made a video about how much money I had made, how many views I got overall in the lifetime of the channel and how it was performing overall and my perceptions of whether the channel was growing or plateauing or actually declining in its performance. So it's six months on from that now and the channel has been monetized for 15 months. So I thought I'd give another summary of how Andrew Balcom as a channel has been performing. So six months ago, my lifetime uh, views that I had accomplished for the channel was 103,000 views. Um, I'd had 8,800 watch time hours and I had 1,400 subscribers. And six months on, in comparison to that, I have 140,000 lifetime views, 12,200 watch time hours, and 1,786 subscribers. So that just gives you an idea of how the channel has grown in the last six months. Now I will go into my top five performing videos over the last two years for my channel and I'll compare the top five videos from six months ago to the top five videos from now. So at number five uh, my video of the Shutterstock uh, commission rate drop. The video was very popular when I first dropped it but after the stock agency threatened to uh, suspend uh, people's accounts if they started uh, publishing details about uh, the agency and showing um, details of the agency's website. Uh, what I did was I took it off uh, my platform or my channel for about six months so I didn't get suspended from uh, Shutterstock and then I re-uploaded it with a new title that didn't have Shutterstock in it. So that reduced a lot of the views uh, for that video. But the first, I guess, three months that it was up, it earned quite a lot of views. And it still steadily gets the odd view now and then, but not a huge amount. Um, six months ago, that video got me 4,603 views. And now, six months later, it has 4,716 views. So not a huge growth over the last six months for that one. Okay, at number four was my video about field testing the Canon 400mm L prime lens. And six months ago, I got 5,839 views for that video. And six months on, that video now has 7,253 views. And at number three was my video, Is Stock Photography Worth It After Three Years? And that video earned me 9,164 views six months ago. And now in February 2022, it has earned 9,612 views. And my second most popular video is the one that I made of the Canon R5 mirrorless camera paired with my old EF 400mm Canon L lens. Uh, and six months ago that video earned me 10,313 views. Now in February 2022 that video has earned me 13,000 477 views. So it's gone up by around 3,000 in the last six months. And the number one most popular video on my channel is 
doing indoor stock photography and I made this video I think it was two or three months before um, the you know what hit in 2020 and I don't know if it was coincidence or just the YouTube algorithm but that has just been uh, growing and growing over the last 18 months since it dropped. So six months ago that video had 13,416 views and now six months later it has 18,283 views. So that has had a pretty steady increase. Um, but what I've noticed from that video is the watch time is quite short uh, but it gets a lot of views so on average it probably performs as well as you know my, my uh, second or third most popular video. And this is just the tip of the iceberg if you play your cards right on YouTube. So before we go any further, if you guys could give my video a like, that would really help my channel out immensely and I'd be really grateful. Thanks very much for that. Okay, so let's get into the 28 day analytics for how many views I've had in the last 28 days, how many watch time hours I've had and how many subscriptions I've had and also uh, the average or the total earnings uh, for that last 28 days in comparison to six months ago. So six months ago I had 5,384 views, 360 watch time hours, 37 new subscriptions and for that last 28 days, six months ago, I earned $21.58. In comparison to six months later, now February 2022, I have 6,800 views, 653 uh, watch time hours, 57 new subscribers, and a total earnings for the last 28 days of 41 dollars and eight cents. So I guess you could say on average uh, all of those uh, statistics have risen by between 45 and 50 percent in the last six months. So that shows me uh, quite a dramatic increase in growth there. Now I'll get into my five top earners of all time and six months ago my fifth highest selling uh, top earning video of all time was Microstock earnings for March 2021 and that earned $8.27 and now my fifth highest uh, top earning video of all time is the hands-on review of the Canon 400 millimeter L lens after 10 months of use and that has earned me $20.24 in the last six months. My fourth highest best-selling video of all time six months ago that was my stock earnings uh, video report for the month of December in 2021 and that earned me $9.08. Oh I'm all scrunched up I look like a hunchback have to relax my shoulders. And now my uh, fourth highest best-selling uh, video of all time is uh, stock earnings uh, report for September 2021 and that has earned me $24.47. My third highest best-selling uh, video six months ago was uh, stock video or stock earnings report for the month of January 2021 and that earned $9.88 and now my third best-selling video of all time is my indoor stock photography video where I uh, run through about five different indoor 
scenarios where you can take photos uh, for indoor stock photography uh, and you don't have to go outside and find your subjects. Uh, and that video seems to have piqued a lot of people's interest. Uh, that video has earned me $28.45. So that is a really large increase uh, there. Um, my second highest video six months ago was uh, the indoor stock photography video and that earned me $13.96 but now my second highest video or second highest um, earning video in February 2022 is my stock uh, photography earnings report for August 2021 and that has earned me $30.69 okay six months ago uh, and now my number one highest uh, earning video is the same and that is the Canon R5 review with the 400mm lens and six months ago that video earned me $35.55 and now that video has earned me $45.87 so six months ago all of my top earning videos combined came to a total of $77.79 and now all of my top five earning videos combined come to a total of just under $150. So that's a significant increase in growth there in the last six months. Well, let's get into the earnings for the last six months uh, that I've made on YouTube. And that's um, primarily from AdSense uh, earnings from the advertisements that are on my video. I don't have any other revenue for my channel. I've tried uh, affiliate marketing when I first began and I signed on with Amazon and it was just such a hassle. And I think after six months, uh, they ended up just canning uh, my affiliation with them. Uh, I think because I didn't have enough views, which is fair enough. Uh, and I haven't gone back into uh, that side of things. I just can't be bothered. I'm too busy. I've got a family and a job. And just making these videos uh, is enough for me at the moment. Uh, and just watching my ad revenue uh, go up is enough. But of course, uh, the more my channel grows, the more I will want to invest in other streams of income to uh, spread out uh, my overall income. So that's an option for the future. And now it's, at the moment, it's not feasible, but I'm not ruling it out. So I'll just compare the earnings that I made six months ago uh, compared to now in February 2022. In February 2021 I made $25. In March 2021 I made $20. In April 2021 I made $27. In May 2021 I made $17. In June 2021 I made $20. And in July 2021, I made $13 at that stage where the video was. It was midway through the month, so I would have made more uh, for that month. Uh, but that was just at the stage six months ago. And six months ago, my six-month uh, earnings total was $121.60. Now compare that to now, February 2021, whereas... So six months ago in September 2021, I made $27.79. In October 2021, I made $30.21. In November, I made $47.51. In December, I made $42. In January 2022, I made $42.82. And in February 2022, 
so far I've made $14.09. So the total for my last six months uh, in 2022 is $262.23. And that represents about a 50 to 55% increase in earnings in comparison to my earnings uh, of six months ago. So that is uh, a pretty encouraging result. I know in the video that I made uh, that time, six months ago, I was actually embarrassed to talk about my earnings and the statistics of my channel. But I told you guys that I did it because I had fun making the videos and from the feedback and the comments I knew that some people were actually helped by my videos. And I also made a strategic decision to, I was very strategic because that's the kind of guy I am, I made a decision to cut back on the amount of videos that I was creating simply because I was starting to burn out doing it every week and I felt that the quality of the videos was not to my satisfaction. So I cut back my videos and started making uh, one video every two weeks. And a couple of months there, I didn't make a video uh, more than one video per month. Um, but I just strategized. I looked at my statistics and I thought, where are my videos getting the most views? What are the videos that seem to have the most interest on my channel? And I focused in on making those videos. Now in the next six months I'm going to keep doing that, but I'm also going to try and make other videos uh, that are fun for me, but also might be interesting for other people who just have an interest in photography and uh, wildlife photography. So that's my aim for the next six months, just to see how that goes and to see uh, if uh, it doesn't take too much time and energy from me. Uh, I'll, I'll only make those videos when I have uh, a window open to do that. That's been my strategy for the last six months and it's paid off. I've seen a 50 to 60% increase in my uh, revenue and a significant amount uh, more views and subscriptions. So it's all looking good. If this video was helpful or handy to you, please feel free to give it a like and that will help my channel immensely. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.